relax. We got everything in this mug, man. Look at this. CD, CB, TV, telephone, full bar, VHS. <laughs> if your friends have to trot, you know, a few mama bears we can hook up with. <laughs> or is he married? He's married. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. It's a girl's day off. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna sit up front. So, are your lady live out here? About the past six months. Meaning you still live in New York? You always ask us many questions, Argyle. <laughs> Sorry, man. I used to drive a cab, and uh, people would expect a little chit-chat. So you divorced? Just drive the car, man. Hey, come on. You divorced? You separated? <laughs> she beat you up? <laughs> she had a good job. Turned into a great career. Now that meant she had to move here. You're very fast, Argyle. So why didn't you come? Well, why didn't you come with her, man? What's up? Because I'm a New York cop. I got a six-month backlog of New York scumbags I'm still trying to put behind bars. I can't just pick up and go that easy. So in other words, you thought she wasn't going to make it out here, and she'd come crawling up back to you. So why bother to pack, right? <laughs> like I said, you're very fast, Argyle. <laughs> you mind if we hear some tunes? Hey, that'll work. You got any Christmas music? This is Christmas music. It was December 24th on Holland Sabbath the dark. When I seen a man chilling with his dog at the park. I approached him very slowly with my heart full of fear. Looked at his dog, oh my god, a ill reindeer. I bet I was nearly called a man and a beard. And a bag full of pretty 12 o'clock at near. So I turned my head a second and the man was gone. But he must have dropped his rider back dead on the lawn. run into each other's arms, the music comes up, and you live happily ever after, right? I can live with that. <laughs>